All right, hey there, Prox Gaming crew, and this is Prox Fight here. Welcome back to the Indigo Disc DLC. And if you didn't miss out during the last one, well, we just went further downwards here into the Area Zero uh, within our time out here. Because uh, if you guys do remember, we did have that Indigo Disc, so we got to go and put it into that weird a computer area that was going on when we headed into the entrance. And uh, now it looks like we have to go and search for all these special Pokemon known as Stellar types, uh, which we have seen recently out here so far within the last episode. We have encountered up with that hidden guard chomp out of all things. Uh, we went about it with the uh, stellar t-tar that also happened the noivern that was going on uh now i believe we just only have just one more other pokemon that we have to go and search around over here so that we can be able to go and encounter out with the legendary pokemon himself that is going to happen within this game known as terrapagos now i'm just going to go and say this here for right now guys that this is unfortunately going to be the finale we're going to be kind of running into a same situation that happened before uh back in tears of the kingdom where i couldn't really go and defeat ganon all the way through because unfortunately i just didn't have like the proper equipment with me uh that was heading on into that way and not only that but i was out of arrows man i completely ran out of arrows in that area uh within that whole entire wave of enemies they had to go at first face off with before even going to meeting up with the actual gan himself which that was just downright annoying and uh and not only that, but even in Tears of the Kingdom, we have to go a face off with Ganon at least like three different times. And it's just absolutely annoying. So I have to go and worry about that on my own accord. Um, but yeah, even here, uh, well, since we are playing uh, within our way of the finale that is happening here into the Indigo Disc, um, I'm just going to say this now that when you go and face off with Terra Pagos, it is going to be a Terra Raid battle and it is going to be downright annoying. Uh, because if you guys don't know, Terra Pagos does have a thing known as the shell form. Uh, once it happens, happens uh, once it starts going into like its mental type of state that goes on where he starts like going completely crazy um let me just say that even though that fighting is like the super effective move for Terra Pagos, he does have like this weird annoying uh, like type of like shield ability where where it's like basically you keep on hitting uh, his like like you keep on hitting like that super effective move and it does like barely nothing to him. And then once you finally get into that way of like finally getting yourself with you to go and terrorize up, uh, he actually takes it away from you later on after once you go and uh, take care of like the few different phases that happen within the actual battle and it's just downright annoying and uh and for me personally i'm not a big fan of terror raid battles at all like if you like let me just say that if you guys remember back in the scarlet and violet days of when frizion and also that other pokemon uh became like exclusive pokemon for like a little bit of some time um those were like what were they they were like rank five or rank six star like terror raid battles those were absolutely annoying and just trying to go and battle with something like that is like almost the ex exact same equivalent to what Terra Pagos is going to be. Uh, but yeah, so I tried to fight my way throughout this battle here, guys, uh, within my attempt that was going on for this episode. And I tried my best to like at least stay alive. I went through the first phase and I'm happy enough that I went and clear through it. But unfortunately, there is no saving checkpoints or anything of that type of nature afterwards because we have to go through the Kirin battle with Terra Pagos so then we actually have the actual terror raid battle that happens as well too kind of like what happened with the ogre pond and that type of situation but that ogre pond battle was fairly easy compared to like what terra pagos was but this is just absolutely brutal and not only that but i believe if every time that you go and destroy out our terra pagos's shield it will literally change its form every so often so um but for me since i didn't really have the proper pokemon uh to actually go and help me out there um i think apoleon and i believe golden heglo are actually the two best pokemon within the actual uh terra pagos terror raid battle uh so that you can actually go and quite effectively destroy some of his different shields as quickly as you can but Unfortunately, I don't really have a golden head glow and I don't really want to have to go and search over like almost like a thousand different coins I think within the game, right? It's like 999 coins. They have to go and search around within that way of of how to collect all those coins uh, Yeah, I wouldn't really want to go and do it But I don't know if I already went and said this already here uh, within the episode uh, for today But if you guys don't know uh, within these two videos, not only are we doing our time out here with the uh, Indigo Disc DLC, but we are also, of course, going to have to go and do our time out here with more of the Final Fantasy X game. Uh, we are going to go and uh, meet up with a brand new character by the name of, uh, well, 
actually i don't really want to go and spoil it out here too much but you guys will have to go and find that out uh within the uh well within the video of our time but we are going to have a new additional member uh later on uh within our way of the beginning part of the game during our time of that whole submerged ruins uh type of place that we have to go and do where we have to meet up with the mini yeah i think it is a mini boss battle that we have to go and meet up with um, but here, uh, within this way, is really strange because, like, when we go and uh, head on into this area, you'll see that there's, like, some sort of weird emerald or some sort of weird green rupee that's going to be out here. Kind of like something out of, like, Legend of Zelda. But, like, uh, well, now, if you guys do recall, Kira said they want to go after the legendary Pokemon first. And he's going to go and try to uh, pick up with this uh, green emerald or green rupee that's going to be here. And uh, while that happens, it actually turns out to be the actual Terra Pogos Pokemon that we have been searching here for this whole entire time. So it's actually really strange. Well, this whole entire specialized uh, green rupee that we've been looking at all this entire way is basically an actual Pokemon that we're going to see. And I have to say, Terrapago is like, as like, it's like prey form before it starts going into that shell form is actually pretty adorable. I actually, I, I do remember uh, seeing that Pokemon during like the trailers of, uh, of what like the two different uh, DLCs uh, trailers were going on throughout here. And uh, not to worry, uh, if you guys are thinking about like, oh, well, if we're going to have to go about with Kieran again, is he going to have uh, like all of his team again? Like also with that additional uh, Terra Pogos? Actually, no, he's just going to have just only just the Terra Pogos itself. And that's basically about it. And then afterwards, then you have that annoying day terror raid battle that happens. It is going to be a very long, lengthy road and a very long, lengthy process, if I do have to say so myself, if you don't have the right proper Pokemon, because you're going to be there literally wasting and burning out moves, and it's going to hardly ever do anything. Even I had, like, almost, like, a good, sufficient, well, good team that was, like, sitting around, like, in, like, almost, like, into, like, the late 70s, all the way up into, like, the level 90 Pokemon, and they still couldn't even get the job done. Azumarill couldn't even get it done, and he's like our highest Pokemon. Marilyn should have been able to go and demolish out here with Terra Pogos. And at least did a little bit of some extra damage. Even like my Brave Birds don't even work out all that too well. And that's very scary too. But yeah, this cute little adorable Pokemon is like a madhouse when it goes and starts transforming. But here we go. So let's go and uh, see what's going to happen here. Yeah, see, look at this. And Terra Pogos actually uh, likes us because we're actually the much friendlier trainer out here. But I know that Kieran wants to go and capture out this Pokemon anyways. And he's going to throw a dang Master Ball to at least capture it right on the spot. Yeah, and also too, by the way, every time that you go to feed out with the Blueberry Elite Champion, it seems like you always get like any type of Master Ball in the process as a reward. And I know that we already got that Master Ball, right? And we can't even go and use that Master Ball anyways at this point in time now since we haven't even... Went and even completed out with this Terra Pogos battle yet. Oh, man. And I really badly wanted to go and show you guys, like, the, the legendary encounters that we could go and do right after. But, unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. Unless, if I could go and probably find a way onto doing that. If I could get myself with the gold blueberry quest or the red blueberry quest. But, that'll have to happen in, a, in another time, though. Because unfortunately, I just want to go and just move off into Yokai Watch 4 after all of this. That, well, after once this is all said and done. Because I know that you guys have been really enjoying Yokai Watch 4 Plus Plus, and I've been really enjoying it as well, too. And if you guys don't know, uh, we are also, of course, going to be doing a Yokai Watch 4 uh, Plus Plus on the channel. Uh, I believe currently we are just heading on into Chapter 7 of our time now. We're almost about to be done and finished out here within the actual way of everything that is going on within there. Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what happened within the last episode because I think during of that time I believe we just went and headed off into the yokai world and that was basically about it from there So yeah, so here we go So I know that I do have Omos out here because uh, from what I was doing some research that apparently fighting type moves actually do quite a bit of damage Now I know that with uh, having hammer arm there is gonna go and lower my speed So I know that I'm not gonna be able to uh, use my moves as quite efficiently as it should be but We'll just go and try it out. Now, I believe even if you go and literally uh, touch Terra Pogos here in this battle, he will transform into that certain uh, typing that's going to happen. Uh, so I know that since I went for Hammer Arm, this man is going to already turn itself into a fighting type Pokemon, which uh, that's actually pretty nice because uh, when this actually happens here, I believe um, th that Pokemon will literally stay as that type of typing. So it's not like, uh, well, it's kind of almost like a little bit like color change in a way of like how Kekulon works. That like every time that you like uh, hit Kekulon, it like, it like changes its like color into like that sort of typing of Pokemon. But um, 
what happens here with Terra Pogos is, is that if you like literally touch him once, he literally turns into that Pokemon. He literally stays as that Pokemon. So basically, since I made him into that uh, fighting type uh, Terra Pogos here, we're just going to be able to just go and just really set up on like play roughs and other things of that type of nature. Now, I don't know why, but here in this game, I have to say, uh, like, I know that Pokemon, uh, like, Scarlet Violet has, like, their moments of it being, like, really glitchy in some aspects, but let me just tell you that here in this, uh, area of, like, where Tartar Pogos is gonna be, it is, like, massively glitched up around over here, man. Like, I don't know why, but, like, you'll kind of, like, I know that later on from what you guys are going to probably see is that there's going to be a little bit of some flickering here and there. I don't know if that was just because of my HD PVR 2 that was having some issues, but I'm pretty certain it had to be the game itself that was going on here. Because, like, I know that, uh, I know that we've all seen different, plenty amount of videos and other things of that type of nature where, where Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet had those, uh, those glitchy moments here. And that's what has been happening around within our way of for what was happening. Now, you may probably not get to see it too visibly, but you'll kind of see a little bit of a change that happens here. Because, like, sometimes you have to kind of, like, at least kind of see the background a little bit for it, to, for it to happen. So, yeah, so there we go. So, now, since we do have a uh, Brave Bird that's going on, now we just need to just keep on using that for a little bit. And that should hopefully help ourselves out. Yeah, and it also does have Water Pulse, too, which that just makes things, like, more annoying than it has to be. And unfortunately, I don't have, like, a lot of revives as well, too, which that's also another problem. I should have went and probably picked up on some revives before this actual battle began. And I would have probably at least uh, kind of helped myself out a little bit more. And I wish I should have known about that. Now I actually do realize about how many revives that I had. Because I thought I had 21 revives and then not 2 revives. <laughs> but there we go. See, look at that. Like, Brave Bird is doing, like, so much damage because, like, we finally went and uh, got the right proper attacky that was going on here. Since we went and changed his form. So it is going to go along with another one of those. Uh, of course, we are going to get ourselves uh, completely knocked out here. Now, I'm pretty certain I think we do actually go and quickly revive back up on Talent Flame, but we'll have to go and see what else happens. Now, I believe we also go into Sprite as well, too. And if you guys don't know, we do have that Life Orb. So that should basically help ourselves out uh, in, in the meantime here. So let's just go for a revive. Bring back out here with Talent Flame. Just so that we can kind of have have that as like for just a just a safety issue if anything had to happen from here. So yeah, so look at that. Earth power doesn't really touch us at all. But here we go. We're gonna set for those nice slashes, and that should be able to do quite a bit of damage even with that uh, life orb in its way. So yeah, so the first phase of Terra Pogos is almost done, and uh, it's not too entirely bad, huh? So let's go for it again. Very nice. Brought it down right into the red. Yeah, so it's kind of like at the very beginning, we kind of have like almost like a tie-in battle that happens. And then afterwards, then we go into like the actual main part of the situation that makes this game entirely annoying. Just so that we have to go try to defeat off here with the DLC. And it's very nice and very handy that like at least you get to save like before the actual Terra Pogos battle even happens. So you can actually kind of go and do some last minute adjustments before you actually go and face off into it. Which that is what I'm going to have to go and do when I go and uh, complete this off on my own accord. But, you know, there we go. So, yeah, so now Kira's just, like, freaking out, saying, like, yep, we beat him again. And you know what? Uh, Kira, we have faced off with you so many amount of times, man. And, like, I don't know what your whole ordeal is all about. You say that you want to keep on trying to at least get a victory off against with us, but it's not going to happen, man. You just had, like, a legendary Pokemon, and you still got your butt destroyed. Hmm. So, yeah. So, now Briar's trying to figure out exactly what makes this guy tick. Like, what is going to be something that we have to go and see, like, what his true form is all about. Well, now we're going to go and try to make that uh, form actually appear here with this terrorizing ability. And this is a very dangerous situation, because I don't know why Kira decided to go and do this. Because now it's going to start absorbing everything that's going to be around out here. And it's going to even make the game even more glitchy than it actually has to happen now. <laughs> From what you guys kind of just witnessed out here for a little bit. But it does look pretty beautiful though. Look at this. With this, uh, well, with the whole Stellar typing that's going on. Or Stellar type, I believe that's what it's known as, right? Oh, something's going on here. Oh, Maridon finally showed up, huh? So he is here to go and at least try to save the day. 
Yeah, it's too bad that unfortunately we don't get like the same type of situation that happened in the end game of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, where we kind of used Maridon as like the last Pokemon uh, within like the time of like doing that battle and uh, battling out like all the other Maridon that was happening. So unfortunately, we can't use Maridon here, but we can't go and use our regular Pokemon that we do have. It's just always so annoying that you can't always go and use that Pokemon that much, it, like, here in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Like, that's, like, the only time that you only get to ever go and use Maridon, like, fully ever, like, in a battle is, like, at the very end game that happens. But, yeah, so here we go. So, Karma's gonna be with you, and he is, and now, this, uh, now, I believe, uh, Sinistri, I believe that's what his name is, or Sinistra, I think that's what his name is. I can't always remember exactly what... It's all about here, but we have that hospitality ability where it, like, heals up the Pokemon. Like, I think, I don't know, like, first turn or something of that type of nature. So, unfortunately, Karma's not going to be with us for too long because, like, once uh, Terra Pongo starts happening out here, it's, like, almost, like, game on at this point, and everybody is going to, like, start, like, getting every everything, like, destroyed out here. Now, I kind of leave in this battle for a little bit, uh, just to show you guys with Omos that happens. Now, I believe you have to hit Terra Pongos at least, I think, in three different occasions. And uh, so, yeah, so basically uh, what's going to happen here is that uh, Sinistra is just going to keep on setting up for these rage powers to just keep on, like, hitting him directly, I think, or something of that type of way that uh, that happens here. And just be careful of that move because that does, like, an insane amount of damage right there. That Terra Star Blast there. And look how much that does. It is a hammer arm that hardly hits him for nothing. It is nothing. Like, this man has some shields of, like, freaking, like, I don't know. It's, like, insane. His defenses are just absolutely out of this world. So, we have to go and try to throw in another max potion to see what happens there. Now, unfortunately, if you guys do know, hammer arm does have the lower of the speed. So, now we're not going to be as fast as we normally was from before. So now things are going to get even more annoying as it happens. But once we get our third hit, we should be at least be able to go at Terra. Now, unfortunately, I did not actually know about this, and I wish I should have known uh, beforehand, was that uh, basically what happens is that uh, my Omos actually has the Terra type for Earth. Uh, or for, well, well, not for Earth, uh, sorry, for, uh, for ground typing, really. Why did I say Earth? I literally was thinking about Earthquake, which that is, uh, well, that is actually something that has to deal with in the, the actual part of Pokemon, but no, we have, like, a ground typing Terra that happens for Omos, and, uh, I did not realize that I did not have the fighting Terra type for it, and that was really annoying, and I wish I should have went and chased around with the Terra typing there, because I know that we have those Terra shards, right? So I could have went and switched around into a fighting type to begin with, and then we would have had Hammer Arm do a little bit more better damage. Or, not only that, but I do have, like, the, uh, the expert belt or the black belt onto it, right? Like, I'm pretty sure that that gave us super effective hits for us to do a little bit much better damage, and it still doesn't even do anything, dude. Now, here comes out with that Zed headbutt, and at least the good thing is that that, that did do a lot of damage. Yeah, and I wish I should have known, because now that gave us ourselves within that whole, uh, that whole situation now is gonna be, uh, turning us into a, uh, into a ground typing uh, problem out here because I believe there is a certain move that I think he goes for water blast and I think that absolutely destroys me. Or, or not water blast, the water pulse. Wow. I'm just messing up with all the Pokemon moves today. I'm just creating new moves that, uh, that have never even happened yet. There we go. So, unfortunately, Omos is down and out, but now let's go and do the edit here because now you guys are going to see... That throughout the whole entire battle, I only have just only two mods left. That I only have just with Elsa, my Alolan Ninetales, which is absolutely adorable. And I love having Alolan Ninetales on the team. But unfortunately, she has to go and get destroyed. Ugh. Even with my terrorizing of my Ice Beam, just hardly ever does like nothing. Because I get myself completely destroyed without even having to go and use the move for it. Let me just tell you, I absolutely despise Terra battles, and I don't ever want to see them again in the next Pokemon game. <laughs> because, like, I don't know why, but it's like almost every single legendary Pokemon that I think we have encountered out here so far always has to evolve with some sort of Terra Raid battle that has to be at least like almost like a 5-star or 6-star Terra Raid battle, and it just makes things so annoying. Like, we got like that Mewtwo one, I think. Yeah, was it like a Mewtwo Terra Raid battle or something that happened with the, like, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I don't, I, I can't really remember. 
But I know there was like some sort of like special legendary Pokemon that happened first, and then you have like the Phryzeon and Kaboyon one that happened afterwards that was even more annoying that had to happen. But yeah, unfortunately we just only have just roughly around we just only have uh, with Brutus out here. And I don't even think Brutus could even do anything for what we could do. And I was thinking that I still have more revised, but unfortunately I don't. And it seems like, uh, oh man, this is really annoying. But yeah, we kind of have to see what's going to happen here now. Yeah, that just does so much damage, man. That's just so crazy. And I don't even know how that we're even still managing to even at least still be alive just for that. I thought uh, that was going to be at least be like a one shot. But there we go. Game is over. Terrapagos has finally got its last laugh on us. And we lost the battle. But at least the good thing is, is that we didn't lose any money. Right? Because we didn't go reverse off with an actual rival here. But however, that kind of ends things off for today. And uh, I think that is where we're going to go with uh, say thank you guys so much for watching this series. And I'll see you in the next one of Yokai Watch.